Here's what you can plan on for the next couple of hours. Plenty of clouds and some rain will be steadiest and heaviest probably for the next two ish hours, depending on where you are. And then it's a lighter stuff going in towards tonight. As the things kind of lighten down here, as the rain lightens down, temperatures are going to start to cool tonight, especially at some of the mountain summits. Just checked in with Whiteface summit temperature there now 39 degrees. So as that continues to come down, rain may try to change over to snow, but really only at the highest of elevations. Ski areas could be looking at some minor accumulation. So keep that in mind when you see this. When I'm calling for showers tonight, that's in the valley. Mountains uh, finding some snowflakes. Temperature here in the Champlain Valley down to about 37 degrees through the overnight. First alert storm tracker, we've watched the second round of rain. We had that early morning one that didn't provide much in the way of rainfall at all. Here comes round two and it has been uh, real heavy rain at times out across the western slopes of the uh, Adirondacks. Same for the Green Mountains. It's come down at a decent clip even right here in the Champlain Valley. Closer inspection now Plattsburgh, Beekman Town, Shazy all finding some pretty good rain still. Burlington down to Williston, uh, Richmond all looking at uh, some pretty heavy downpours too. Take you into the Connecticut River Valley from Hanover to Lebanon. Some pretty heavy rainfall right down 91 down towards southern Vermont. So we've got this again for another couple hours and then things should tend to lighten up a little bit and then uh, once the rain lightens next thing that we're watching this cold front that's going to mean business temperatures yesterday mid 60s today low and mid 50s tomorrow low 40s so we're coming right back to reality after a uh, brief reprieve a little return to early fall rather than where we actually are here in mid fall future cast here's the rain kind of clearing its way on out some of this may be trying to fall as some mountain snowflakes for tonight Going in uh, to the uh, overnight hours, maybe some more additional light uh, shower chances. But really, the majority of what we're going to see is basically already fallen, and this is what it amounts to. Generally half an inch to three quarters of an inch, some isolated higher totals. Again, 2016, we're about eight inches behind for the year. So this is a real beneficial rainfall, especially considering looking ahead, there really aren't that many good, solid rain chances over the next seven days. Future cast for tomorrow. Lots of clouds right throughout the day. I know Futurecast tries to clear us out tomorrow afternoon, but remember Monday, we really struggled to find any kind of blue sky. Probably a very similar situation for tomorrow. Clouds, late day, blue breaks, maybe a couple of breaks of sun, but certainly not a uh, bluebird day by any stretch. Looking ahead to the weekend, don't forget, daylight saving ends. You're going to want to wind your clocks back one hour before you go to bed on Saturday night, but look what that's going to do to your sunset time well before five o'clock. It's going to get dark before five on Sunday. Tough to believe. Tonight's sunset is at 540. Our uh, earliest sunset of the year comes December 5th, 413. Yikes, if you like the uh, long summer days like myself, uh, this time of the year can be can be a little tough. Temperatures today in the mid 50s. Tomorrow it's low 40s. There's the weekend. A lot more clouds than sun. Mid 40s should do it. A little bit of a warm up and a decent day to get to the polls Tuesday, 52 and partly sunny.